Good morning. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Thank you for joining us for Facebook Live here at Bluebird Quilt Studio. We're looking forward to sharing with you a few things that are going on in our shop. And we're going to talk about how to introduce a friend or a family member to sewing and or quilting. Because that's an important, fun thing to do as it a is. quilter. It is. So in any event, we do have some kits for this beautiful Mountain Meadows kit that's behind us. We still have some kits available. It is stunning. I love the quilting that Paula added to it with the Pro Stitcher. It's got these little mountain feathers, or mountain feathers, mountain flowers with swirls. It looks like a mountain breeze popping by. It's so summery and fresh looking. In fact, I'm buying a kit, as you know, and <laughs> it's going to be at Summer Quilt on our bed. Nice, nice. So in, a, in a, another summer. There you go. <laughs> so we have that in another summer. <laughs> yeah. You're not just going to whip that out right now? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Come on, Marilyn. <laughs> Uh, I'm still we 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 do have we do have well Paula Paula put that that quilt together probably in less than two weeks. Mm. Challenge so, not accepted. Challenge <laughs> not accepted. You know what? We all have our uh, chosen paths to pursue our quilting needs. So that Mountain Meadow kit is available both as a full kit or as a block of the month, and we invite you in to take a closer look. Pictures just don't do this quilt justice, so please pop in and take a peek. Um, some other things that are happening, uh, now through July 5th, there's a zero down, zero percent financing offer from Handy Quilter. So if you have some UFOs, unfinished objects, not things flying around the sky. Yeah, right? no, no. So if you have some unfinished objects, that you would like to uh, tackle with a long arm in your life, we can help you with that. That 0% zero, zero down uh, financing is truly a great offer for, for. That's a really great, that's a really great offer. Yeah. Not so, very often does that come along. And so that's available for another week. So if we can help you with that, please pop in. We'd be glad to give you a little demo on the full line of handy quilter machines. Um, we are also looking forward to summer sewing projects with friends. So mm -hmm. when you are trying to choose, uh, someone says, I want to learn how to sew. What are some things that come to mind, Marilyn, when you're thinking about how do I teach this person how to sew? First, I think you need to start with a warning. <laughs> a warning that quilting in particular is quite addictive. <laughs> yes. So once they've agreed to, okay, they're all right to be an addict. Um, usually my first go-to project is a pillowcase. Just takes right. a yard of fabric and it's super simple. We started with, you know, kids seven, eight years old. Don't have to make straight seams. And everybody uses them every day. And setting people up with something simple manageable time frame with guaranteed success for yep. their first project that's huge the sewing machine already set up with all the bobbins wound the pins are out you're not looking around for the last minute items and super fun inspiring fabric that fits that quilter right, right? exactly and then, like you said getting something that you can finish in a short period of time um, a lot of times something that they can sew and take home with them. Right. That's a that's a kind of huge. Yeah, that initial setting the stage for success is the biggest thing. So um, you can teach them the other things once they have that motivation and that little taste of, ooh, I made that. Right. That little right. bit of, ooh, I like that. So I really think that that is super super important so having a plan and a project in place so once you've done that initial uh pillowcase project here's a couple of things that we have in the shop that might be fun next projects some of them are super easy and about the same time frame you know a couple hours to finish some of them are a little bit more involved but there are things to think about that might introduce someone in your life to sewing and quilting so 
Um, why don't you grab that uh, a panel? Let's go for panels first. Okay. Okay. So there's all of these amazing panels that are available for quilters now. These panels um, really are bright, fun ways to take up a lot of space in the middle of a project. It could be that you make wall hanging. It could be that you add some borders around this and make a little lap quilt. It could be that you, you know, maybe even take the center panel out and make it into a pillow. But panels are a great starting place for easy, fast projects for beginners. So there's a variety of panels that we have in the shop. For those of you that are nature lovers, this looks like, you know, Idaho in the fall here. We're a few months out from this, but here, if you want to show that, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I believe that photo was taken in Wyoming, but it could be an Idaho wilderness photo. So that's a fun uh, project for a panel. We have some that walk, ooh, here's another, here's another one that is for the outdoor lover. I love this. This reminds me of my daughter, Brittany. Whenever we go camping, we always uh, try to sleep out underneath the stars. So Britt, that one's for you. Anyway, is that stunning? That is absolutely beautiful. So. So easy to add a few roll, rows of quilts, for example. Oh, wouldn't this be great with this? So you take a collection of fat eights or fat quarters and pop them around the outside. Nice big pieces for that beginning sewer and you've really got something stunning going on. So there's the fabric uh, colors right there. Goes beautifully with that. So you could also add a little fun little applique to the outside. Um, this particular pillow, um, these were stitched down simply. Not every edge was stitched down. So this would be a fun little project for someone's bedroom or maybe a trailer. Trailer. Camp, camp trailer. <laughs> RV. An RV. How so, about this cute little uh, Christmas stocking? Ooh, that would be great. It's Christmas in July, right? So there you go. Look at how cute those are. This gives you enough to make two stockings because there's some on the other side, or if you backed it with something else, you could have four. So what a great gift for grandkids or uh, for grandkids to make. Right. And just, just so that you realize, this project is already easy, okay? Right. It's also easy on a long arm. This can be stitched on a long arm very easily. The entire thing can be made on the long arm. That so would be fun, even uh, faster than. Right. So there's a variety of ways that you could use that. We also have this adorable apron pattern here. So if you wanted to keep it super simple, here's the panel. Literally, you could just hem the edges of the hem the edges of the panel, even comes with a pocket. There you go. And Straps. you can just stitch it together super fast. Or another option is you could line it by placing the panel literally on top of a, a, another piece of fabric with right sides together and stitch around the outside of the panel and then cut it apart and turn it inside out and you'd have a lined double-sided apron. Right, you could make it reversible. Yeah, there you, could, you go. You could put a Christmas on the back and have a spring, summer, and then a yeah. Christmas apron. So there's lots of options here that are fast, easy, manageable projects that don't require lots of technical expertise. And obviously, we have um, other options available too. You've got a little silicone mat. So this is really fun. This is a pot holder or a silicone mat to put on the dining table. 
Um, they come in different sizes and they actually have silicone on them and they're just made with fabric. They come with uh, complete directions with the silicone inside. And if you have great fun doing it and you want to make more for gifts, you can buy the silicone refills or inside and they sew up real easily on a, a sewing machine. It even has a pocket on the back so you could use it for a pot holder if you, if you want to. Oven mitt. I, I oven mitt, yeah. And you know, stuff like that, if you're traveling this summer and you need a little housewarming gift for people, that's that's, that's a, a nice idea. little that's well, a nice little it's not too early to start for Christmas because you, know, you know it really it really July isn't. is right around the corner. There you go. Literally. So um, some other things to think about when you're helping beginning sewers is again setting things up for success. Make sure that you take the time to test that sewing machine, make sure the tension is great, make sure the thread is going to easily blend with the project. So if the thread wobbles a little bit with a beginning sewer learning how to stitch a seam, you know, they're still gonna have a project that they're proud of in the end. Um, I don't think, and I think what you're saying Quality about, tools too, <laughs> you know, that's... Right. Well, and, and the sewing machine, you, you, you said get it out and test it, but I don't think there's anything that is more frustrating for a beginner than having sewing machine issues. You know, not, not having a sharp needle or not having proper tension. They don't know what tension is, but um, right. any, any time that the, the tools are not working perfectly is frustrating and I've seen more than one sewer just throw up her hands because she's totally frustrated with the sewing machine. Right. Yeah. So and that's a, that's a and, number one thing I think. And probably to set yourself up, you know, we as sewers, because we love this hobby so much and we're so excited to invite somebody into the fold, we need to step back from our own projects if we're helping somebody else learn how to sew mm -hmm. because that's going to set them up for a secure beginning. Right. You really don't have a big long to-do list on your sewing table if you're helping somebody else learn how right. to sew. Right. That's, because you'll get frustrated having to stop what you're doing to help them. So if you just plan on it, yeah, it works great. And, and that will give you a lifelong buddy to sew with. Which is yeah, perfect. You can always have one more of those. how social sewing, oh, it's, what a it's social very, hobby It's very is. social. It's, uh, Yes, it is. And we're I being social. Double. We're, we're so being social, social here too with the Facebook. <laughs> we got triple social going on. There we go. So anyway, those are a few ideas that might help introduce uh, new sewers to uh, your passion as a quilter and sewer. And if you are new to quilting and would like a little boost, we do have groups that meet here in the shop and uh, we can help you overcome those initial hurdles to uh, learning how to sew and particularly to quilts. So. And if we have, if, if you have a couple of friends who want to learn how to quilt, we do have um, six week long quilting classes. And if we have at least three of you that want to get together, we can do, we can do a class um, special for you. Yep. That's, that's, it's always good to know. So we invite you to pop on in to Bluebird Quilt Studio. Thanks for joining us for this little Facebook Live, and we hope you find new friends to quilt with and sew with this summer. And we're looking forward to having you pop into the shop and see what's new here. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us.